President Joe Biden warned Friday that Donald Trump's efforts to retake the White House in 2024 pose a grave threat to the country, the day before the third anniversary of the violent riot at the U.S. Capitol by then-President Trump's supporters aiming to keep him in power. Speaking near Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, where George Washington and the Continental Army spent a bleak winter nearly 250 years ago, Biden said that January 6, 2021, marked a moment where we nearly lost America, lost it all. He said the presidential race, a likely rematch with Trump, who is the far and away GOP frontrunner, is all about whether American democracy will survive. Biden laid out Trump's role in the Capitol attack, as a mob of the Republican supporters overran the building while lawmakers were counting electoral college votes that certified Democrat Biden's win. More than 100 police officers were bloodied, beaten, and attacked by the rioters who overwhelmed authorities to break into the building. What's Trump done? He's called these insurrectionists patriots, Biden said, and he promised to pardon them if he returns to office. He excoriated Trump for glorifying rather than condemning political violence. Biden said that by trying to rewrite the facts of January 6, Trump is trying to steal history the same way he tried to steal the election. Trying to rewrite the facts of January 6, Trump is trying to steal history the same way he tried to steal the election. But he, we knew the truth because we saw it with our own eyes. This wasn't like something, a story being told. It was on television repeatedly. We saw it with our own eyes. Trump's mob wasn't a peaceful protest. It was a violent assault. They were insurrectionists, not patriots. They weren't there to uphold the Constitution. They were there to destroy the Constitution. Trump won't do what an American president must do. He refuses to denounce political violence. So hear me clearly. I'll say what Donald Trump won't. Political violence is never, ever acceptable in the United States political system. Never, never, never. It has no place in a democracy, none. What's Trump done? Instead of calling them criminals, he's called these, these insurrectionists patriots. They're patriots. And he promised to pardon them if he returns to office. And now these MAGA voices who know the truth about Trump on January 6th have abandoned the truth and abandoned the democracy. They made their choice. Now the rest of us Democrats, independents, mainstream Republicans. We have to make our choice. I know mine, and I believe I know America's. We'll defend the truth, not get into the big lie. We'll embrace the Constitution and the Declaration, not abandon it. America, as we begin this election year, we must be clear, democracy is on the ballot. Your freedom is on the ballot. <clears throat> yes, we'll be voting on many issues. On the freedom to vote and have your vote counted. On the freedom of a choice. The freedom to have a fair shot. The freedom from fear. <clears throat> and we'll debate and disagree. Without democracy, no progress is possible. Think about it. The alternative democracy is dictatorship. The rule of one, not the rule of we the people. Rule of one, not the rule of we the people. That's what the soldiers of Valley Forge understood. We all know who Donald Trump is. The question we have to answer is who are we? That's what's at stake. Who are we? In the year ahead, as you talk to your family and friends, cast your ballots, the power is in your hands. After all we've been through in our history, from independence to civil war, to two world wars, to a pandemic, to insurrection, I refuse to believe that in 2024, we Americans will choose to walk away from what's made us the greatest nation in the history of the world. Freedom, liberty, democracy is still a sacred cause. 